Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you several easy methods that I used to level up 25 times in less than a day. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 released yesterday, and similar to the last season, you also need 80,000 XP for every single level up. First things first, a couple of new landmarks and POIs have been added to the map. I would start discovering those first. The POIs, they give you 2500 XP, and the landmarks, they give you 500 XP. The POIs are pretty obvious since they have a huge question mark on the map, but the landmarks are a little bit more difficult. I would just recommend going to every single spot on the map. And for example, the new high security vaults, they also count as landmarks. Then we're going to jump over to the daily quests. These are quests that can be completed indefinitely, but every single one of the daily quests will give you 1000 XP. However, every single day at challenge reset time, three of your daily quests are going to give you an additional 15,000 XP. That's nearly half a level up. What I would also recommend is that every single match that you play, try to pay attention to the daily quests that you have, because most most of them are very easy to complete and eventually the XP is gonna stack up quite nicely. Up next, kickstart quests. Fortnite decided to be nice to us and gave us a whole bunch of quests which each give you 35,000 XP and they're extremely easy to complete. It's damaging opponents with assault rifles, eliminating opponents, entering a vehicle or ride wildlife in different matches, outlasting opponents and playing different matches. I don't think it's necessary to specifically focus on these quests. Like I said, they're very straightforward and very easy as well, so you'll most likely complete these while doing other stuff. Anyhow, we're not going to say no to two free level ups. Then we have the zero week challenges. These are also very simple. The only one that's a little bit difficult is eliminating an enemy player within five seconds after sprinting while chromed. I would recommend landing at the chrome tornado. If you enter that, then quickly pick up a weapon and sprint towards any enemy player that you see. There will most likely be players going for the herald. So if you just run towards one of them, you should be able to quickly eliminate them and then complete this quest. One of the good things that was carried over from last season, the bonus goals. For every X amount of weekly quests that you complete, you get an additional. 50k xp moving on to the next method this is probably the one that will give you the most level ups this is the paradise quest line every single one of these quests will give you 32,000 xp and the quest line is quite lengthy but it's also quite entertaining because you learn a lot about the lore for this season and some of the quests are a little bit more difficult than the weekly ones and personally i think that's a very good thing because i like my quest to be a little bit challenging so for the resistance and vibing quest, you were required to establish a device uplink and then you would quest your quest orders and then you needed to travel to a set location or do something specific. They made a good adjustment to that because in this season, when the battle bus leaves the spawn island, you'll immediately get your next quest orders, which is very nice because you can just sit in the battle bus, head towards your destination, and then listen to a piece of the storyline as you're making your way towards the island. I think that completing the paradise quest line will take you about two hours. By the time that you're done with all of this, you should have completed most of the quests Quest, but there is one more quest line that you can easily do and that is the cypher pk one this quest line is only going to be available for two more weeks at the time of making this video so make sure that you do it in time before it goes away three of the quests are going to give you 27,000 xp each and you'll also earn quite a bit of xp for just playing in creative the other two quests will give you a free reward if you want to get those it's up to you but i would definitely recommend eliminating an opponent with a melee weapon which is easily doable by either purchasing the infinity blade or by picking up a golden pump shotgun shooting someone once for 180 damage and then hitting them one time with your pickaxe. The other quest is eliminating five opponents with a shotgun and then for the last one you need to hit 10 headshots. It's very easily doable and probably shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. Once you've done all of this you should be anywhere between level 19 to 21. This next part might become a little bit confusing I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. In pretty much every other season before this one there were loot paths. You could do these in team rumble, you could do these in a solo game, basically you'd land at a POI, make your way from chest to ammo box to the next one and so forth. This season unfortunately isn't as simple as that because just looting stuff doesn't really give you all that much XP. What I would do is jump into a game and then make high security vault runs. This is a new thing this season. There are several vaults on the map which require two keys and the other ones just require one key. You can find the keys as floor loot or from chests. There should be 10 single lock vaults and four double lock vaults on the map. I would either start off at Rave Cave or Cloudy Condos. First search some basic chests until you find a key then head towards the vault and if you're lucky you're gonna find several other keys in that vault as well because usually the vaults will contain rare chests and rare chests seem to have a slightly higher chance at giving you a key. What's also important is that rare chests give you a lot more gold than normal one and in the double lock vaults you will also be able to find safes which give you even more gold bars. You need this for our next method. When you're doing the vault runs there are a lot of things that will give you XP in a specific type of way. For example if you make your way to a vault when you insert a key it's going to give you XP and the more keys you insert in different vaults the more XP you're going to get because your accolade is going to go from 
from simple to expert. Also make sure that you actually search the chests and ammo boxes that are in the vault. Don't just break an object that they're standing on because otherwise you won't get XP. I'm not sure if this was the case last season, but destroying slurp barrels also gives you XP now. It doesn't seem to matter if your health is at 200 already, you can just destroy the slurp barrels and still get 100 XP per barrel. And if you have barrels stacked on top of one another, just destroy the bottom one because all of them are going to give you XP regardless. I know it's not much, but eventually this will start to stack up. Now searching the chests and ammo boxes also brings me to the next method, milestones. The milestones this season are very comparable to the ones that we had in previous seasons and that is not a good thing because they kept all of the worst ones and removed the fun ones. Alright, so as you're doing the vault runs, searching chests and ammo boxes will start to stack up quite nicely. But there is one other milestone which is quite easily completable, but for this one you need a lot of gold bars. The one that I'm talking about is vending machine purchases. What I would do is head over to Sleepy Sound, you can find a total of 3 vending machines there. One of them will always have healing items, and the other two might contain the item that you want to purchase. So I personally only buy shotgun shells and ammo for assault rifles or DMRs. The shotgun shells are going to cost you 4 gold bars per purchase, and the medium ammo will cost you 10 gold bars per purchase. In order to complete that milestone, you will need to purchase a total of 400 items, so I wouldn't recommend purchasing small or heavy ammo, as this will require you to spend more gold bars. Now, once you've checked the two vending machines and sleepy sounds, I would recommend grabbing a vehicle and then making your way over to Coney Crossroads. You can find three additional vending machines there, one of them will always have healing and then the other two might have the item that you need. However, after you've passed the first vending machine, there is a very specific room next to the gas station and it has a lot of laundry machines and those also give you gold bars. I would recommend destroying the floor, this is going to break all of the machines automatically and all the gold bars will be dropped on the floor. I think that every single run you should be able to get about 84 gold bars from that. And once you're done with that, you just want to keep doing this over and over again until you complete all 20 stages. Every single stage is going to give you 6 thousand xp and for every 10 stages that you complete you'll get an additional 20,000 xp as a bonus goal and then it's time for my final method this is playing creative there are specific maps in creative that don't require you to put in a lot of effort but they will give you a lot of xp unfortunately we don't have imposters anymore but there is a different map that i discovered last season during the challenges and this one is called frost survival i would recommend joining a public game usually people know how to play this and you don't want to go further than round 20 which should only take you about 27 minutes of playtime my tactic for this is quite simple when the game starts complete the waves until you reach level 6 and purchase the splashes from the vending machines, repair the generator so that you can go into the bunker, and then place the traps, complete a couple more waves, purchase the rocket launcher, and then just start walking around the map in a circle, shooting a rocket launcher at a whole bunch of monsters, and then just keep on doing this until you reach level 20. I would definitely recommend purchasing the instant reload power-up, and then later on the triple damage one. Just make sure that you don't shoot the rocket launcher too close to yourself, otherwise you're gonna get knocked down. You'll earn XP for eliminating a specific amount of creatures, you'll earn XP for completing waves, for purchasing items from the vending machines, picking up the gold coins. And every 10 waves, a large boss will spawn. And once you eliminate that one, you'll get about 10 to 15,000 XP. And that is every single thing I did to reach level 25. If you have saved the world, I would recommend playing that as well, because you can easily do about five more level ups with that. My total playtime to do this has been about seven and a half hours. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.